Hey, it's Corey from Laboratory again, and today we're going to make a 3D printed Bulbasaur plant pot. This is the Bulbasaur getting printed out. Sadly, my camera dies right at the end. Uh, we've printed it out bottom going upwards because it's the best way to print it out without having supports. And no supports just means a cleaner, much easier finish. Here is the Bulbasaur 3D printed. Next step, we're going to spray paint it, priming first and give it a quick sand, and then we'll give it its true colour and just hand paint some little decals on it and make it look awesome. He's been lightly primed and lightly sanded with some 320 grit, I think, sandpaper. It's come out pretty good. The back's still a little bit rough, but I'm not too fussed about that. I'm just really want to get the front of him nice and smooth, and then we'll get him fully ready for his first coat of paint. So here he is, the Bulbasaur. So what we've done is we've just basically printed him out at a 0.1 millimeter layer height. I've then primed and lightly sanded. I haven't gone too overboard because Bulbasaur himself has got some rough skin. I've then coated him in a green glossy paint and then just hand painted his little warts or patches, whatever you want to call it. His eyes, toes, teeth if you can see them. There's a bit of white on his teeth. The hand painting acrylics, I haven't really gone overboard. They're just literally one or two dollar tubes at the local cheap store. Glossy paint I did spend a bit of money on because I wanted like a nice finish and the primer is just what we use for all our other projects. If you look underneath, you'll be able to see little drainage holes. So if you sit him on a saucer, water can drain out and it's not gonna clog up everything. So if you like this project and you wanna see more, don't forget to like and subscribe us and leave a comment.